I love St. John's. Uh, and it's wicked to have a, a real sense of community and stuff. You know, it's, it's cool, uh, cool area to make music. It probably is a cool time because you could just create things easier and, and distribute it easier, you know? Oh yeah, no, there's, there's, there's no money, but uh, yeah, it's fun, you know? Just having a good time and just like not really caring about, about the songs or, or our performance. You just want to have a good time and just like fall down and just scream and make mistakes and you know, just, just have, a, have a good time. Uh, Puberty Blanket? Yeah. yeah, that was that was my first one. Uh, that was really, uh, that was really dear to me. It still is, you know? Uh, I recorded that when I was living in a uh, residence in the uh, Rothmere house. Oh yeah. And I, I did it all like in a uh, over Easter weekend, and uh, it was funny. I'm using a condenser mic and a, just a little crappy four track, so it picks up all like the sounds uh, from the residence and stuff. And uh, I had to be really quiet in some tracks because I was living with 150 people, and uh, so I'd be like whispering uh, in, into the four track uh, like late at night. And I just remember. Uh, yeah, how fun it was like making that and actually like listen back to like a track and be like, that's me with like, you know, a keyboard and a guitar and my voice and like, you know, that's, that's a real song I wrote, you know, and I was just so, so proud of it. And I got a bunch of stuff that I just haven't released, just stuff I've been making in my bedroom. CD is just kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, just a way to let, to, uh, let the songs uh, be heard and the way it's like kind of or to just like you know the song I've, I've told this to people you know who, who said like hey, I'm gonna like buy your CD go down to friends buy your CD I'm like cool but like I kind of try to feel bad for charging any money for it even like five bucks because uh, it's only something you want to uh, read uh, sorry listen to once like say like a book that might be a bit depressing you might like read a book and it's like it's like, man, this, this pretty, that, that doesn't really put me in a good mood or whatever, you know? Like, so I'm not going to read it again, I'm going to put it on my shelf. And just like that, that first CD, uh, the Puberty Blanket one, I only gave it to, like, say, like, uh, I only made like 20 copies or so and just gave it to, like, people in residence or, like, my friends. But, like, people put it on the internet and it's on Soul Seek and different things now. So, like, that's, that's, that's floating around and every now and again, like, you know, somebody will be like, man, hey, like, uh, I listened to Puberty Blanket the other day. I think, uh, one of the main things is uh, isolation. Like I've heard uh, bands talk about, like say Mogwai for example, like when the Glasgow scene got on the go in the late 90s, you know, uh, they, they, they'd say, well, a big reason why there's so many cool, interesting bands uh, coming out of Glasgow is because uh, we're disconnected from London, which is like the kind of cultural publicity hub. That and just like the, the geography, uh, like we're, we're isolated, but plus we're pushed right up into like the northeast corner of the continent, you know? And it's just, uh, there's this kind of like uh, desperation, like uh, <laughs> in a way, even like happy music, like like uh, Nufi reggae music, uh, like skank and stuff like that. Like still I get this kind of like vibe from it where it's like, we're all kind of just like, screaming out like into like the black like like uh, Atlantic Ocean like just like uh, you know just like um, I don't know yelling to whoever will hear us because Canada's like far like far away that it might as well not even be there you know like Halifax is like a world away basically.